the the setup is influenced by uh jc and danko's wishes so they that's <laughs> really okay yeah no it was like uh the that was the aesthetic of the band uh, in the beginning it was like that's what they were going for so coming from yes we we play uh like ever since i've been in the band it's it's always kind of been the style that we play now just kind of like what it is our, our hard rock uh, yeah thing whatever but when in the beginning it was coming from the uh garage rock scene and uh so bands like you know the white stripes and uh that that like a, yeah those that was a scene that those guys were coming from and uh so like john spencer blues explosion those kind of like really like fun and the the you know it wasn't like all just about laying it down it was like kind of like as much about this like wild character like you know the wild guy that is danko jones and like the the songs were different different back then anyway so that was the aesthetic of the band all along it was like and it's just like it's different it's cool uh you know have this like yeah just the one tom the cowbell a couple cymbals so i i have played more drums with other bands but never with i've never done more with danko wow i will say uh if a little uh behind the scenes in the studio sometimes i'll put up like another symbol or something but that's just for like you know like the way that like a guitar player might overdub it like or like double his guitars or something or her guitars in a part to make it come you know expand or something so but live never more than that setup that's yeah. cool and i guess the massive bonus about that is like storage and so when you're touring <laughs> you don't need well you know the drum kit normally takes up half the tr you know half the van or whatever yeah. so you there's less stuff um that is yeah. cool it's it's yeah it is yeah if uh if you like you were saying if if john fred's tech's the worst tech job in drumming mine might be one of the easier yeah exactly it's like, it's, there's not much there's not much to set up no it, it is it's actually yeah it's, it's pretty it's pretty slick and it doesn't take a lot of room no and uh it's pretty fast uh to get done yeah it's yeah it's, i recommend it's... it i guess you just you just do get used to it it's like yeah. you just don't have but i was the same as you like when i first joined i always had one racked on like and uh, you know i mastered all my my go-to fills you know with that <laughs> and then so like there's some like the uh yeah you just kind of got to make them work with the with the floor time like there but there's some like yeah like dig -a -dig -a -dig -a -dig -a. like you just have to like it just flows so easily but you gotta yeah. like now you gotta switch it so you just like gotta get that left hand over there really quickly kind of thing or um yeah in a way it kind of made me like come up with some uh like in the early days especially like the first record come up with some fills that i, I wouldn't have done otherwise just because you only have these two things and mm. and i guess the kick too but like um yeah or end up using the hi-hat sometimes is actually what i end up using in the fill uh, yeah. sometimes so like an open or you know kind of like even using the open or close kind of thing with the hi-hat but uh yeah it took a bit of bit getting used to for sure well like uh drumming for the song uh, to uh bring about that like uh yeah that's one thing it's it uh really like the less the fewer bell bells and whistles that you have like the more you just got to do make what count make it count with what you have yeah yeah I, I i found but i guess you know the argument could be made too like no the song calls for five toms you know yeah like 10, <laughs> 10 sometimes 10, it does tops. and it does so like that's yeah, yeah i i i don't disagree i yeah because anyway. you you can't like for example yeah you couldn't do that with one floor tom you definitely you wouldn't, can't you, you could just wouldn't work no nah, it wouldn't work so yeah it's it, you know there's no right or wrong in drumming i always say that yeah um, and that's what's cool about the instrument <laughs> <laughs> 